exotic, breathtaking, amazing. That's how we describe the scenery of our vacations. Now imagine if you could travel to a scenery like this one. How would you describe it? A few years from now, OAC plans to open the first space hotel called the Voyager Station, which was premiered by the Gateway Foundation a couple of years ago. Interior renderings show that it looks like a luxury hotel on Earth, including all the amenities such as cinemas, spa, and gym, in addition to high-end restaurants for fine dining. The hotel is solar powered and resembles a Ferris wheel as it spins around its core to create artificial gravity equal to about one sixth of that on Earth, enabling tourists to shower, eat, drink, and hang out. But the spaces with less gravity will allow for even more fun and space quirks. Due to the weightlessness of visitors, basketball games can be witnessed to some serious airtime. No offense, your airiness. All right, so all of this sounds great, but remind me again, what's the purpose of having a space hotel? Over the past year, space tourism became increasingly regular, but without having a space station for docking. Now, this is where space hotels come in. And when it comes to safety, you know, our stations are designed with all sorts of redundancy and being able to section off portions of the station to where if there's a, a significant breach in one part of the station, the rest of the station isn't compromised, you know, emergency procedures, uh, you know, escape craft, that sort of thing, uh, fire suppression systems, redundant software and, and thruster controls. So there's, you know, safety is always a primary concern, especially when you have people involved. Here's the kicker. Did you know that the space industry is expected to be worth one trillion by 2040? Making luxury space resorts like Voyager more common in the future. So, who knows? Maybe your next summer vacation will be on the dark side of the moon.